you can see from this video footage here, I'm having trouble with my recording. You see these brown horizontal lines? Well, I needed to sort this out because it was appearing on my time-lapse videos and this is the solution to it. I made an LED version of my studio light, very similarly to DIY Perks, his channel. Uh, in fact, I mean, I, I got the idea of him and I've essentially copied the design. I did a slightly more elongated version. There's a variable resistor which you can turn to adjust the lighting. The fan is a temporary thing. It's actually quite a noisy computer fan and um, the light is off right now while I'm recording. There's a reverse shot of it. That dial there that I'm turning changes the voltage to the LEDs which enable them to dim without pulse width modulation, which is the annoying thing that gives you the brown lines on your video. So I shouldn't have those anymore when I speed up my footage. Uh, there's no sort of flash 50 times a second anymore, which there was on the fluorescent fittings. Here's how I made them. Here are the LED strips I used. I got them from the link in the DIY Perks video. And here is a time lapse of me putting this together. So I just cut a small plywood board that would fit inside my fluorescent light. And I used some chunky cable. And just like in the DIY Perks video, I had a positive on one side and negative on the other. I measured my LED strips fairly carefully because I, I had 15 meters in total and I wanted to have 15 rows. So that's a meter each. And as you can see here, you have to cut through the copper area if you cut it, just so that you have enough to solder a positive and a negative wire onto somewhere on that LED strip. This is my plan for the temperature of the strips. As you can see here, I've got two green lines for every red line, and that's because I've got two meters worth of 5,500K strips to every one of the other temperature strips, and I wanted to have a good mix, so I mix them together in that pattern. Here you can see I'm attaching them to the board. And now I'm soldering the positive side of the cable to each individual LED strip. Now my, unfortunately you see me using a flame here, which is a terrible idea, but it's, the only, it's all I could do because my um, soldering iron stopped working. So uh, I decided to get the big guns out and just use a plumber's flame torch, which burned the wood slightly, but it did a, a good job. It had some serious heat behind it. So it melted the solder nicely. And here's me just wiring it all up. And here's the first test. And you can see it works a treat. Uh, here's what it looks like when it's plugged into my light above my desk. And as you can see, there's no flickering. Very pleased with it. And here's just a, something that came in the post today uh, for the for camera to, to look at. And as you can see, no flickering, lovely and bright. Very pleased with that. And thanks to DIY Perks for his awesome video. Um, I wonder if he'll see this, that'd be awesome if he did. It's been really cheap and links in the description and DIY Perks is awesome. Check out his channel, you're probably already subscribed. He's like one of the most popular YouTubers on this platform. And he's brilliant for video stuff. Thank you.